So welcome to Form 3 Mathematics Learner. Uh, today we are going to solve quadratic equations by completing the square method. By completing the square method. Examples Learner. Suppose you are told to solve this quadratic equation using completing the square method. The first thing Learner, as I've written here, is that you must, you must ensure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. You must come to the equation and ensure that the coefficient of x squared here is 1. Then, the next step, after making sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1, then the next step is you take this constant to the other side, the, 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 the c here to the other side. And this is what I've done here. I've taken this to the other side, it becomes 9. From here, Lana, you now complete this square on this side. Make it a perfect square. In other words, get the C now here. And therefore, what I mean is x squared minus 8x plus, you complete the square there, is equals to what? On this other side, you also write 9 plus the C that you have got. So after getting this value here, you add it on both the sides so that you balance the equation on both the sides. And therefore, learn how do we find our C here? How do we find the C? We said that uh, to find the C, you use the formula B over 2 squared is equals to C. And therefore, our B here is minus 8, Lana, divide by 2 uh, squared is equals to C. And therefore, this is minus 4 squared which is equals to C. And therefore, learn our C is 16. And therefore, here we come and write 16, and on this other side we also write 16. Good. From there, you come and write that x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equals to what? 9 plus 16 is 25. Okay? From there, learner, you now factorize this perfect square. You factorize perfect uh, this perfect square. How do you factorize it? There is a shortcut now that we know that a perfect square factorizes into two equal factors. And that is why I've written a square here. It factorizes into two equal factors. A shortcut here for this. You just come to this and say, what is the square root of x squared? You come and write x. What is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4. If this is minus here, if the second term has a minus, then you also put a minus there. And therefore, whether you use the product sum to factorize, you'd still end up with this x minus 4 squared. That is a shortcut. And therefore, this gives us 25. From there, Lana, to uh, remove this square by finding square root on both the sides. Find square root on both the sides. You will be left with what here? x minus 4. Add on this other side. Square root of 25, Lana, will either be positive 5 or negative 5. Square root of a number is either positive or negative. So, you go to the next step. You say x, therefore, is equals to what? Make this x the subject. Take minus 4 to the other side, and therefore you'll get uh, minus 4 going to the other side will be 4. It will be positive. Then plus or minus 5. And so, what is our x? The first value of x learner will be equal to 4 plus 5, which gives us 9. Or the second value is 4 minus 5, which gives us minus 1. Good. We go to the second example, learner. Suppose we have 4x squared plus 12x minus 9 is equals to 0. Lana, if you look at this problem, the coefficient of x squared is 4. You make it 1. By doing what? Dividing by 4 throughout. Divide by 4, divide by 4. And therefore, this gives us x squared plus 3x minus 9 over 4 is equals to 0. Then the next step, just like we have done up there, is that you take this constant to the other side. So you'll be left with x squared 
plus 3x is equals to 9 over 4. Learn. The next step now is to find the c here. Complete this square on this side. And therefore, what I mean, just like we've done above, is that you write that plus a dash for your c, then 9 over 4 plus a dash also. Then, what is your c? Your c will be your b, which is 3 over 3 over 2 u square, which is equals to c. So this is 9, uh -huh, 2 squared is 4, is equals to c. In other words, your c is 9 over 4. Come and fix it here, 9 over 4, and also on this other side, 9 over 4. Lana. Lana, we now continue, and we put these terms together. So, x squared plus 3, uh, 3x plus 9 over 4 lana. You add this to 9 over 4 plus 9 over 4 would give you 18 over 4. Yes? From there, you talk of what is the factorization of this side. You put, again, two brackets and a square. What is the square root of this? This is x. What is the square root of this lana? It will be 3 over 2. Because this is addition here, uh, the, the second term is positive, you put a positive there. And therefore, this would be equals to what? 18 over 4, we can make it a decimal, which is 4.5. At this step, learn, just like we've done above, remove this square by finding square root on both sides. So here you'll be left with, uh-huh, you'll be left with that. Is equal to square root of 4.5, which is either positive or negative, 2.1213. Okay? So, what is your x learn? Take this to the other side. It is positive 3 over 2, so it becomes minus 3. It becomes minus 3 over 2, followed by plus minus 2.1213. I can write this as a decimal, this part here, which is negative 1.5 plus minus 2.1213. And so, Lana, we are almost there. Your x, therefore, will either be 1.5, and it has a negative with it, negative 1.5, plus, look at this, plus 2.1213. Which gives us what? This plus this would give us 0 0.6213. Or x can also be negative one, uh, negative 1.5 minus 2.1213. And this learner should give us what? It should give us minus. 3.6213. Go and practice that learn. That is how we solve quadratic equations by use of completing the square method. Bye-bye.